Hey, Ben here from Unearned Confidence. This is what we're gonna call our home edition. We're self-quarantining like everybody else in the world. Right now I've got my son Benjamin and my son William helping out because Kyle can't be here. So there's like 985 million Model Y videos on the planet right now, so I thought I'd spare you that. And what we're gonna do is while we do have this cool Model Y that we got a couple of weeks ago, I wanna talk about how we take our solar panels on our roof, combine it with the sun in the sky to power that car, my wife's car, and most of our entire house. Come with me, let's go do it. Now there's my house. If you look way up there at the top, the roof is covered in so solar panels. Those solar panels are creating the electricity to charge this Tesla Model Y. Let's go up there and take a look. So here we are on my roof in sunny Colorado, and just behind me are my solar panels and they go all around the entire house. This is a fairly big system at up 12 and a half kilowatt hours and meets all of our needs. So here we are in my basement. I didn't fall off the roof. Come with me, I wanna show you something. Incidentally, this is my studio where we record the Unearned Confidence Podcast. So that electricity that we got from our roof and the solar panels is DC powered. Well, in America, our homes are AC powered. So somehow we have to convert that energy from DC to AC. So we've got these things right here. These are called inverters, and what they do is convert DC electricity into AC electricity. That's exactly what the wall charger out in the garage uses for the Tesla. Here's the thing though, the batteries in the car are DC. So the car actually has to convert the energy from that Tesla wall charger back into DC. So there's a bit of an efficiency loss but that's just the price of doing business in America. Okay, so come with me as we drive into my garage and we'll talk about just how all the dots are connected. Come with me and I'll show you how we take that electricity that we generate on the roof and get it into our cars. We've got this cool Tesla wall charger right here that we use for both my wife's car that's not right here right now. Special shout out to her by the way, she's a healthcare worker working at a hospital right now. Anyway, we take this Tesla wall charger and we plug it in. There it is. Okay, I thought it would be very helpful now that we're in my car to show you exactly what's going on when we're trying to get that electricity from the roof through the wall into the car. Here we go. So here's what is currently happening. I have it scheduled tonight for 9.15 and every night for that matter. That's just when we happen to charge this particular vehicle. But let's show you what happens when we actually start charging. We can do that right now. So if you see this little triangle here, we have a limit that's set and that is so that we don't charge the, the car fully every single day. That's not good for the battery. If we're on a trip, we can put it way over the trip and go 100%, but we want to put it about 80% or so, and that will help preserve the life of the battery. So what happens when we start charging is the car is going to look at that electricity that's coming out of the wall and say, hey, are you suitable for me? And if so, I'm going to let you charge, which it's doing right now. You'll slowly see these amps start building up, and then you'll start seeing the miles per hour come up here shortly. This should go up to 48 amps, and eventually this will top out at about 44 miles per hour. But it does have to get the battery ready so that it can charge at its optimal rate. And there you go. Okay, so we've talked about the sun, we've talked about the solar panels on my roof, we've talked about the Tesla wall charger, we've talked about the inverters in the basement. We've got the cars, now let's talk about the economics. For that, I've asked Benjamin, help us along the process. Check this out. We use sunlight to create electricity to power our Tesla Model Y and Model 3. The Model Y has a big battery. It has a capacity of 75 kilowatt hours. This 75 kilowatt hour battery gives us 316 miles of range. So let's figure out how many kilowatt hours it takes to drive 100 miles. The first thing we do is determine how many miles we get per kilowatt hour. This is calculated by dividing the total range of 316 miles 
by the battery capacity of 75 kilowatt hours. That equals 4.21 miles per kilowatt hour. So now, to figure out how many kilowatt hours our 100 mile trip took, we need to divide our 100 miles by 4.21. This gets us 23.75 kilowatt hours. Now, it is time to talk money. For our cars, we use solar energy when the sun is shining. Our home has a 12.5 kilowatt array. In Colorado, the average amount of direct sunlight to power the solar panels is 5 hours. To figure out how much electricity is created during an average day, we need to multiply 12.5 kilowatts times 5 hours. This equals 62.5 kilowatt hours. This is more than enough to power our two cars and the entire house. But what if the sun is not shining, or you do not have a solar system? What does it cost to power a Tesla Model Y? In that case, we have to buy electricity from the electric company. In Colorado, that is about 11 cents per kilowatt hour. That means our 100 mile trip costs $2.61. So then what does a Tesla Model Y full tank cost? Remember, we have 316 miles of range. At our utility rates, that equals $8.25, about a fifth of what gas costs. Awesome walkthrough, Benjamin. That really connected the dots for me. Well, here we've done it. We've shown you how we've gotten electricity from the sun into our cars through the inverter, and now we can drive around on sun power. From all of us here at the Unearned Confidence channel, the Unearned Confidence Podcast, which is the UCshow.com. We really appreciate this. We're brand new. We don't exactly know what we're doing, and we absolutely love your feedback. So please click below, subscribe, like, and give us any feedback that you think would be useful for us to make this a better show. Thank you, Benjamin and William. Thank you, Kyle. Sorry you're not here. Talk to you guys soon.